Oh, let's begin. Okay, and here we go. Here's the trial. Oh, actually, hang on. Before I start. Because last time there was some problems. Hopefully that has helped it. Right. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation, and they were gathered by the red door. And as soon as we were all there... Monokuma appears! Hello! 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 He's multiplied! Run. Nope! Not multiplication! Just looks like... Looks that way, because it's an illusion! Illusion! I meant say shit fucking hell! I'm moving so fast it only looks like I'm I'm only I'm moving so fast it only looks like I've modified! Can you guys tell which one's a real monokuma? Can we just get on the elevator already? Boy. You're not playing along, you're along, you're along! Stop talking. We're not here to play with you. Okay. 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 Fine. Hey, hey. And if everyone's here, ready to go, please board the plane train. Uh, elevator. Shit. Sorry, guys. You know. I mean. Fuck. That was really too far. You know. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. <laughs> okay then. Shall we? <laughs> Hold on. I'm not too late to the prepared yet. You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. What the hell? Let's go. I told you what I did. I don't do it. I'm for serious. That reminds me. Did you ever find the other costume or the note? <sighs> um. Well, no, but <laughs> how unfortunate. Yeah, it would seem we have a couplet. <laughs> hey, why wouldn't it? Uh, Hello, suspicions. This isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations when we get to the court here. That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yeah. Good idea. That's right. I have to. I have to do it! I can let whoever killed a Fumi and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's still alive. And for the two that lost their lives. Fat shit. I'm mentally fucking meffed out. The one who killed. Fat piece of shit. And hard boner man. The one who killed two of our friends. Well, one. I mean, if you're me, he's a. F you know. Fucking kick. Killer is. You! Someone right here. Let's go through it, shall we? So, Sakura, what do you yeah. think? I don't like Monokuma's carefree attitude. Just the worst. Let's hurry up and go so we can make Hero pay for his crimes. Hm. Are you listening? Wait till we get to the courtroom to begin your arguing. <laughs> it would appear the culprit has been confirmed. This trial will be over in no time. Okay, so those two are very fucking suspicious. Because they haven't even heard what everyone else has got to say. But they're very sure of themselves. Hey. The story begins when we get down. The story begins when we get down there. See, where she's very recollected and he just doesn't really care. He's like indifferent. He'll say, no, it's not me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me. You've got to believe. Yeah, I know. I gotta believe. Mm, yes, yes. Come on, Big Mac. Let's do it. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. Oh! I began to walk toward the elevator. Oh, once everyone was on board. 
The doors closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. The clanking in the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator doors slid open, opening up onto a cruel fate. <laughs> well, I see you all gathered together like this. I realize just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Only because of you. Why? Why are you making us do such cruel things to each other? What? what? Did he really hate me so much? Why I'm so cute? Come on. I mean, he's got a point there. Fucking look at him. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Don't rush me. Of course I'm gonna start it. I would never be like, stay tuned for the year, jump back to class, trial after this commercial break. Yippee! Never hold it on you like that. Okay, let's begin. <coughs> Get to your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly blah 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 Trying to make that my catchphrase, you know? <laughs> like, my little, my little thing, you know? Okay, let's see what we got. Truth buttons. So. The victims were Fumi Yamada and Kyoto Ishimaru. Cause their death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought they were both killed with a similar weapon. The top was found in a repository under Ki Kiyotaka's lifeless body. Was apparently used to move Kyo Taka in order to leave, in order to avoid leaving any blood stains. But why? Dolly was found when the bloody, though when the body was rediscovered in repository, this specific Dolly has no handles and blood was found on its wheels. It assumed that this is the same Dolly that was in the equipment room where Kyo Taka's body was originally discovered. When they were first in the nurse's office, Ifumi's glasses were covered in blood. However, they were next seen in the repository. They were completely clean. Hammers of all shapes and sizes were found in the repository. One of them was found... Ooh, wet. Shack with me! I shall get right up! And had apparently been recently washed. The door connecting the art room to the repository was designed to open only from the repository side. According to I... According to Aya, it was locked during the search for the missing body. However, when the body was rediscovered, it had somehow been unlocked. Why? A puddle of blood was found in the equipment room where Kei Itaka's body was initially found. The tire track had been left behind in the blood. The cloth was found in the trash can in the nurse's office. It's printed with a popular cartoon character that was found with blood on it. One has to wonder if somebody used the blood to wipe Used it to wipe some blood away. Okay, so that's obviously the glasses. That's obviously the glasses. So, either the killer used it. Or... Fumi did, when he was dying. Fumi's body disappeared when Celeste and Naya left the nurse's office to use the bathroom. Apparently, they weren't gone for more than a minute or two. This is now the Yashiro... Road to get everyone to meet in the dining hall. Meet in the dining hall, is all it says. The hem writing is remarkably neat and clear. There are blueprints for Robo Justice, which were found in Yashiro's room. Have your arms bend like this. But no, no one but Yashiro could have possibly fit into the costume. In addition, anyone wearing it would not be able to see that Fido bend at the waist more than 8, 90 degrees. Apparently, Ishiro received a mysterious note last night. The note reads, I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. Monokoma can't find out, so don't tell anybody else for now. Let's meet on the record room at 1 a.m. Kiyotaka's ridge watch bloke with the hands pointing just past his clock. It was confirmed that as of late last night, the watch still worked, which means it must be broken the following morning when he was attacked. Kiyotaka's lifeless hands was confirmed coaching a small scrap of paper. If Fumi had his... This note hidden on it. 
One age room appears to be torn. No reads. I found a small hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. What a comic can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's read the It's a basically his exact fucking note. Yeah, it's a note of whom he had. Which I mean it's the exact same note that he said he had. So he seems pretty fucking innocent. Each student has their own e-handbook, which also acts as a card key. The owner's name is displayed each time the handbook is booted up. It is believed that no handbooks were involved in carrying out the murders this time, which means that one of these dumb fuckers is gonna mention it. For fuck's sake. What? Why? Oh, yeah, because, yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. Finish preparations. This is where I don't talk much, apart from to figure this shit out. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, prepare to get spanked, motherfucker. Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, to begin with, we already know who did it. Was that? <laughs> you talking about? He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found it in that. Scene. Wrong. Don't try and deny it. You killed them. I didn't! Someone knocked me out! I, I was asleep the whole time! I don't know anything about it! Shut your murdering mouth, murderer! Who are you calling a murderer? I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprint for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it, and all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit, and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Is he a really killer, or... Or is everyone else in the room just fucking stupid? For anything else, we have to make that clear. It's pretty obvious which one it is. It's pretty obvious which one it is. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff! It's not true, it's a conspiracy! Oh, fuck now. Hero, why? Hang on, what's the slow down button? Concentrated space, okay. No! Just hold on a second! Compelling evidence is that the hero is the killer. Is that really true? Everything we found in your room. The Oops. blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that yeah, you are the this. culprit. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff. It's not true. It's a conspiracy. So what we got? We got your oh, room. Why? Why did you kill them? No. Just hold on a second. Everything we found in your room. Alright, cross step. Hang on. I swear that was like a take an argument. Okay, then no, maybe not. That you are the culprit. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff. It's not true. It's a conspiracy. Hero, why? No. Just hold on. A okay, second. so it's a finding the right bit for that. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. So it's got to be something to do with that. I, I, I don't know. It's not true. It's clear a world. No. Just hold on a second. Everything we found in your room. That? Okay, that was found in the room. 